A few days ago, the 74th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day, or VE Day as it is known, was marked. This was one of the most important moments of the 20th century in which the Allies accepted the unconditional surrender of Germany. Canadians played a huge role in World War II, just like World War I. We punched above our weight, so to speak, when one looks at the number of casualties incurred compared to the population of the nation at the time. So yes, VE Day is a pretty big deal, as is the commemoration of VE Day, even if most of the men who fought in that war have either passed away or are in their 90s right now. So it is that Veterans Affairs Canada produced a video commemorating Canada's role in VE Day. Well, that was a nice gesture. Please take half a minute to check it out. May the 8th marks the 74th anniversary of the Allied victory in Europe during the Second World War. More than a million Canadian men and women served in this bitter conflict. Of those, over 45,000 gave their lives in the defense of peace and freedom. Today, we take time to reflect on the courage shown by the members of our armed forces more than seven decades ago, lest we forget. I love the video's tagline, don't you? Take a moment to remember, connect with Canadian veterans, participate in local commemorative events, share why remembrance is important to you on social media. Hmm. See, the thing is, folks, sharing this video with any Canadian veteran would be akin to spitting in their face because most of the footage you just saw didn't feature Canadian troops or even other allied soldiers. Rather, that footage captured German troops on the march. Yeah, that little Nazi eagle insignia on their uniforms, that was kind of the dead giveaway. Incredibly, Veterans Affairs Canada produced a short tribute film honoring our Canadian soldiers by showing imagery of the enemy? Thankfully, the video has now been removed from the Veterans Affairs website, even though this idiotic infamy shall live on forever, thanks to the internet. But the question arises, how in blue hell did this horrific error, assuming it was an error, that is, how did it even happen? This video wasn't produced by some amateur AV club. This was from the Ministry of Veterans Affairs. It was narrated by the minister himself, Lawrence McCauley. And like any federal government ministry, Veterans Affairs has an entire battalion of communications people. Everything coming out of the ministry gets vetted and fact-checked and approved and signed off on. And yet this garbage somehow received the green light? And even the Minister of Veteran Affairs didn't even notice? Or did Macaulay even bother to take 30 seconds of his precious time to watch the video prior to narrating it. I'm going to guess he didn't even bother. After all, Macaulay has so much on his plate these days, doesn't he? What with denying injured veterans their compensation. I mean, Macaulay barely has time to tuck into his ham sandwich as he diligently helps the Trudeau Liberals balance the budget by, well, <laughs> by telling injured vets to take a long walk off a short pier. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.